Shalom. But and uh right now most people may be saying, oh, this is a this is a tragedy, it's 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 bad. How could this happen? Oh God, you got all these candlelight visuals. But that's how you know how far gone these people are, man. They don't have no idea what these scripts are about. They they they're just they're they're false claiming, man. That's why it says the most high is not dealing with these people. If they knew the scripts, they know this is judgment coming from on high. Alright? For all the wickedness this place is done and keep on doing. Okay? They just passed homosexual marriages more than they already have. Okay? They got all these laws and, and false false balances everywhere, man. And then when judgment comes down, they want to start crying and doing this and doing that. And this is just the tip. It ain't even a whole iceberg, man. It's going to sink the ship. It, the Most High's got... He's against this place. That's what that's what he, that's what we need to start pushing more and more, man. How angry the most high is with this damn place every single second it keeps going, man. Alright, let's get into it real quick. This is uh Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 25 and 26. And these verses are gonna go, they're gonna tie into how the most high is judging this place, man. He's judging it and it, it, it's gonna be without it's that cup. He's gonna make the he's gonna make these damn devils. Esau and his power structure drink the cup. Okay? This is Jeremiah 25 and 26. Turn there with me, please. Y'all have your books and write these verses down, man. And if it helps you, brothers, edify, man, push this out. And this is Jeremiah 25 and 26. Um, we'll start at I'll start at 26. Yeah, 26. And it says, And all the kings of the north fear uh far and near. With one with another and all the kingdoms of the world which are upon the face of the earth and the king of uh, Shiak shall drink after them therefore d thou shalt say unto them okay this is what the Most High is telling us okay the men of the Lord the, the men that are into the know this is what he commands us to do when stuff like this happens and says therefore does say if the, uh, th therefore thou shalt say unto them Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, drink ye, and be drunken, and, and uh, spew, and fall, okay? And that spew right there, that word spew, that breaks down to vomit, okay? To throw up, okay? He's going to make them drink till they, they stagger in it. When you see a drunk man, almost alcohol poison, okay? Alcohol poison to kill you too, okay? And it says, spew and fall. And rise no more because of the sword which I shall send among you. Okay? This is just a small tip. It is a tip of the sword going into that flesh. The most high is taking that sword. And he's in the worst they say when you stab somebody, man, you can feel their soul leave. So it's like he's taking a sword and slowly stabbing this harlot, man. And that's a, a, a slow pain. Because he's been bringing them down since they went up to space, man. So this has been slow. This thing has been, he's been taking this down slow. He says he's killing them softly. Okay? He's taking that sword and he's he's sticking it into this place real slow. Now, at the end, it's coming to the hilt of the sword. Okay? So it's getting, it, it's starting to get smoother. Okay? It's all up in Babylon right now. All up in the, the stomach, going towards the heart. Okay? The Most High is, is, is dealing with this place. And it's beautiful to see. And it says... Among you, and it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink, then thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Ye shall certainly drink. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and should ye be utterly unpunished? Okay, the Most High's already started, He already punished us, man. Then we drank the cup. And we, he loves us. He, 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 we're, we're the children of the promise. And we drank hardcore slavery. Our children were killed. We were hung on trees. We were castrated. Our babies were fed to alligators, man. We were taken down by, by base men. We had base men ruling over us. And their women. The worst of it. The heathen rule over us. They're trampling our land. They take our names, man. And he loves us. Look at the hardship he put us through. Imagine what he's going to do to you devils that he has no kind of love for. And it says, For lo, 
I begin to bring evil upon the city which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore prophesy, doubt against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. You hearing his voice now. Them kids heard them, his voice in them hallways, man. That, that voice of destruction. That lion, when a lion roars, you don't get no, you don't, you don't sit there and be timid. You scared, man. Most high scared. He's 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 roaring from on high. Them gunshots, these these shootings, that's the part of his yelling. That's how he talks to you. That's how he's pleading with that's how he's pleading with this flesh. And it says, Therefore prophesy doubt against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from the holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout. And they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth, the noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. And the Lord, and the Lord have a controversy with the, with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. Those kids, one way or another, had judgment coming, man. You have never seen innocency be lost if the Most High is protecting it. So let's keep going with these verses. This is Exodus to show you that the Most High in the Old Testament, how he works. This is not the first time you've seen the Most High kill children of the other nations, the heathen, even Israel. Okay, this is Exodus 12, verse 12. This is Exodus 12 and 12, and it says, For I will, uh, let's go to verse... Let's go to verse 10. It says, And ye shall let nothing of it renew until the morning, and that remaineth it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loin girded, and your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat in, the ha in a haste. And it is the Lord's Passover. And I will pass through the land of Egypt, the most high passed through the land of Egypt, okay? Friday, and uh, this, the mall shoot, the, the angels are passing through here, okay? And it says, And I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beasts, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment, and I am the Lord. Now, look, look, let's look deeper into this. The most high didn't just send the death angel to destroy just the children even the animals kids got it if the goat had the firstborn they got it the sheep they got it the ox they got it every single entity of firstborn of young they let you know right there the most high is not new to killing young man it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the lord fearful and look at this man this is nothing this is nothing new Okay, if you want to go against what the Most High says, and if you don't have that blood or that mark on you, them kids didn't have that mark. Them kids didn't have that mark on them. They didn't have that mark of don't touch. The angels, if they had a mark of innocence, some of them kids, all them kids didn't die in that school. You know what I'm saying? All them kids didn't die to the point of the Most High set a mark on certain ones that had to go and fall in judgment. They had judgment set up. All right? Let's go to Exodus 18 and 8. This is Exodus 18 and 8. Uh, this is there, 8. And it says, And Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done unto the Pharaoh and the Egyptians for Israel's sake. So he did this to those, this, college, this Connecticut shooting for our sakes, man. He did it for our sakes. All the, all the prophecies and the things that's happened in these last days are for our well-being and our salvation. And it says, uh, Egyptians for Israel's sake and all the travail that had come upon them by the way and how the Lord delivered them. Let's jump to verse 12 or 11 and it says, Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods for in, that, in, for in the things wherein they dwelt proudly he was above them. Okay? I said on that, let's jump to 
Ecclesiasticus, and this is exactly why this kid, they said, oh, how could this kid do this? How could he be, how could he make this happen? Is this, that, this, this verse right here explains.